So, not too long ago, I made a video talking about why I dislike Willow as a character. So, in this video, I am going to be going over my idea of what I think should have happened to Willow. So, let's begin. So, first of all, I am going to start off by saying that Giraffe is going to get shot in a much more important vital in his chest. Tigri seeing this and realizing that Giraffe might actually die, because unlike the characters who get infected in the storyline, if Giraffe were to die from that, he can't be brought back. And because of this, Tigri joins Player and Pony side to stop Willow in exchange that they help Tigri get to Willow's office room. So, just like normal, everyone makes it outside, and just before Pony answers to Willow who Zizzy's sisters are, Giraffe suddenly collapses, dead. Now, because of this major change in the plot, this basically branches off into many different things happening in the story. So, because of Giraffe dying, this actually distracts away from Willow realizing that Zizzy has sisters. And everyone, including the TSP members, basically turn on Willow. And because of this, Willow basically stays as a villain. Now, fortunately, Tigri still throws his dagger at Willow's gun, and the TSP members lock her up in a cell. Now, because Tigri still actually managed to get to Willow's office, he knows where the cure is, and this time he actually decides to help the group. Now, because of this, Chapter 7 doesn't actually play out the same way, and Chapter 8 doesn't actually happen. They won't have to use the lighthouse to attract the Medora, so instead, they take Willow's boat. Meanwhile, Willow is basically rotting in the cell. Now, because of this, she basically becomes deranged and loses her mind even more. Willow basically at this point has nothing and no one left. Now, Tio sees this and also sees a major opportunity. So, Tio approaches Willow and gives a little offer to Willow. If Willow joins the insolence and helps Tio, and Willow having literally nothing left accepts Tio's offer. And so Willow joins the insolence. And Tio gives Willow the mission to track down the group to stop them from getting the cure. Meanwhile, the group arrive at the docks and basically the player and pony go through the docks just as normal, but Tigri actually accompanies them. Anyway, Insolence Willow goes through the port and activates the lighthouse, which gets the attention of the Medora, and Insolence Willow gets onto the Medora. And Budgie notices that Willow is part of the Insolence, so Budgie reveals her true self to also be part of the Insolence. And because Budgie most likely lied about the fuel, Budgie uses the Medora to bring Willow to the docks without having to lure Willow into the place with the fuel and the infected. Now, in this timeline, Pony doesn't actually get stabbed by Marcus because Tigri is able to quickly take care of Marcus. And then, the Medora arrives at the docks, and Willow arrives. Now, Mimi tries to protect the kids, but let's keep in mind, Willow has gotten even worse than before. Willow may have been crazy, but now she is deranged. So Willow raises her gun and does not hesitate at all to shoot Mimi. So then the kids try to make a run for it, Georgie and Zuzi are fast enough to outrun Willow, but Z isn't so lucky. Z gets captured, and Willow is basically holding Z hostage. Anyway, Georgie and Zuzi manage to make it to the others, and mostly just like normal, it mostly plays out like in the Survivor ending. Except that the group warns Kona about Willow, and what kind of threat she really is. Now, Kona realising that his research could be in danger, he decides to go with the group to get the cure. So then the player, Robbie and Tigri decide to go down into the temple and clear the path for the rest. Anyway, they get through the temple and open the exit door, 
uh, just when they arrive to the others and tell them that the exit is open. But then suddenly, the entrance explodes and Willow shows up. Willow goes straight for Kona and his research. So Willow points her gun at Kona, but then suddenly, Pony jumps in the way and takes the shot, allowing all the other remaining survivors to escape. Anyway, the group makes it to the outpost, and they get through it as usual. Anyway, Willow teleports to the group and basically confronts them. So Tigery throws his dagger at Willow's gun and gets Willow's gun out of Willow's hands. And while the player distracts Willow by attacking her, Tigery takes both the dagger and the gun. So in the lab, Tigery and the player fight Willow. Oh, and I guess Distorted Penny gets involved, but gets dealt with quickly. Meanwhile, Kona and the others manage to find the cure. Willow realizes this and switches targets. So she takes the gun back from Tigery and open fires at the radios so the group can't call the military for help. And then Willow takes Z and threatens to shoot her. Suddenly, Tio traps the player, Tigery, Georgie, and Pony. And the four basically fight Tio in their memories. Tigery throws his dagger at Tio's heart, but it doesn't kill Tio, it only really weakens the influence. Now, because of this, Willow snaps out of the control and turns back to normal, and she realizes all of the things that she has done and she knows what she must do next. So, Tio is starting to best Tigre, the player, and Pony, and is starting to beat them. And then Willow enters the place that Tio, Pony, and the player, and Tigre are in. And Willow sacrifices herself so then the others can escape, and Tio is defeated. And all the others manage to escape with the cure. Except for Zuzi. She disappeared when Willow turned good. Anyway, that's my alternate timeline of what should have happened to Willow, in my opinion. Anyways, uh, bye.